Hey guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 questions that chat GPT can help you as a product manager, which can in turn accelerate your productivity or change how you work as a product manager. So these questions are around day to day things that a lot of product managers do from documentation to brainstorming to idea generation to response generation to cold reach outs, etc, etc. But before I move forward, just a quick heads up, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to the channel for the best product management, AI and startup related content. I'm very active on YouTube. So if you have questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'll get back to you with the answer. Also remember that this is not my first video on generative AI. I've created a couple of videos on what generative AI is and why product managers should know about generative AI. So if you're interested in all that content, please feel free to check the videos out on the channel as well. That in mind, let's get started. So the first question we're going to be asking chat GPT is going to be around uh, job research. Right, so I've kind of created a list. So I'm just going to continue to paste here and walk you through how these look. So act like you're a rec recruiter of the job. The job is for the head of the product at Microsoft. It requires you to have 10 years experience in product management. It requires you to know AI and have relevant experience of seven years in it. What kind of candidates will you source? What kind of things should be in my CV? Okay, so this question is primarily when you're doing some research and applying for the jobs outside. And to understand what recruiter is looking for in the job as well. What you can do is add more description around um, what things they've mentioned in the CV. For example, if the product is a risk and fraud, it's likely that they are looking at that direction mostly. But this is one of the first things you can do using chat GPT that you ask more about what these recruiters will be looking at your CV. So you can customize your CV accordingly and start applying for the job itself. Uh, now, before I go to the next question, notice how my question is very clear right so i am ensuring that the ai knows what it needs to act as then i'm trying to reduce the focus of ai uh, by giving it a purpose that you know the job is for the head of the product at microsoft and then i'm giving some more details in order to make the whole question focused i am making a video on how prompts work and you know the kind of prompts you should write in order to generate the best response but ensure that these basic guidelines are followed in order Otherwise, then like the questions or the answers that you get from ChatGPT will be very generic. So ensure that these things are kept in mind when you're asking ChatGPT these questions. So let's look at number two. Uh, number two is summarizing. As a PM, you do a lot of summarizing for different stakeholders, right? So if you're speaking to tech, you need to say different things. If you're speaking to business, you need to ensure that your answer is crisp and that you're able to communicate what the business is looking for. So let's try and summarize this. As a product manager of YouTube, write a one page summary for introducing e-commerce on YouTube. So this is more from the perspective of writing a very, very high level summary before you submit a PRD or a BRD for this. So it's again taking some facts into consideration and then goal. Uh, we believe that interview is the next step for achieving this goal. Allow users to purchase product directly when I mean in a negative that's a good problem or a pain point to call out where it talks about navigating to external sites is not the only enhance but it is the chances of conversion youtube shops so it's going out of the realm of saying generic things to actually making focused recommendation this is primarily because we gave it a very clear understanding on what it needs to do So super interesting, it takes into consideration the creators, which is the bread and butter of the YouTube business. We're excited to continue innovate and provide. So very interesting, it knows that YouTube is innovating with this initiative and which is why it recommended this. The third thing we're going to be looking at is more from the perspective of product growth. So act like you're a head of product for a content creation platform that helps new creators. What would be your growth strategy for the next six months? So again, this is a very open-ended question. Uh, I'm not given the name of the product, so it doesn't know the vision or the name of the company. But what it will do is when, when it has written very little data, it will give you the very, very high level understanding on what are the steps you need to achieve in order to, uh, you know, get to a point where your product is actually growing first for over the next six months or and later, right? So it started by user acquisition, retention, engagement, so it's giving me three initiatives. First is getting the users. Second is retaining them. And now that you've retained them, you need to uh, ensure that they are engaged on the platform. Again, it's not like very detailed answer because the data itself is a very, very open-ended question. 
but at least it gave me a very very uh, you know a kind of a framework that I can use in order to do this. Now fourth one is more open ended than this, where I wanted to brainstorm. So how do you counter this argument? It is not ethical to use personal data even for model training purposes, given the machine in one way or the other stores data about the users. So effectively, the goal here is that um, I want it to answer the questions that a lot of customers, especially when you're working in the healthcare or uh, KYC space, would ask. So I'm going to ask the model this question. Let's see what answers. Collection can lead to significant benefits for the society. For example, personal data advancement in healthcare. So exactly right. So it understands how the personal data is used, why it's used, and this is this could be one of the uh, counter argument. And I agree. Another one is data anonymization, which is something that a lot of these KYC healthcare companies do. So it's completely on point when it comes to actually giving out answers for even the very open-ended questions and arguments. Um, so uh, when we after we do this, I'm going to do a more technical related question around say SQL query generation, right? Uh, as a product manager, what you also do is a, lo a lot of um, you know in order to track the user data. If you don't have dashboards, you'd run SQL queries in order to extract that data. So that's what we're going to be looking at now. So I have two tables A and B. I want to connect table A and B on ID and extract all common details from table A which includes name, phone number, subtype, payment status, filtered by days of today, date, ascending. So now it summarized the question and it's writing a query, select a name in a join A, B, well, date. Um, so as, as long as, you know, as far as I know SQL, I think this is pretty accurate and to point uh, and I'm satisfied with how this works, right? So if like you can give it more understanding on what needs to be answered so it can give you uh, the answer accordingly right let's move on to the next question which is around product vision effectively what i want it to do is write a very very high level product vision for a software that currently offers investment advices and is looking to move into risk and fraud analysis using machine learning over the next year so i've given it the product i've given it an understanding on where we want to move and how over the period of time, right? So it says product vision is investment intelligence platform. Our offers, so it talks about what we currently do. Our vision is to create not only provides investment, but also offers advanced risk and fraud analysis using machine learning platform. We able to identify we aim to build a platform that can automatically detect. So this is a broader vision. It can also summarize this vision for you. Um, like if you had to put the vision down in say 200, 300 words or maybe just 100 words, I think you can tell it that. So you can say, summarize this in 100 words. What it will do is take the salient points, the most important ones, and then summarize it uh, to bring it out to the end user, which is more like a vision per se. But I hope you get the point. Now let's talk about from the perspective of um, we're almost more than halfway there and I have one bonus question that you can ask chat GPT as a PM. So I'm going to also walk you through that. But for now, let's take a look at the user research. Act like you're a product manager of a hyper local delivery product. You have to conduct user interviews, craft the first email you can send to the users who signed up on the platform for user research. So as a product manager, you will be doing a lot of user research. You'll be jumping on a customer call. And often what you'll have to do is customize these emails for these customers. You can automate that using chat GPT where you can just give it some context on who the customer is, what they signed up for, and it will create like a very, very high level email for you. Well, it seems generic. I'd recommend writing this email yourself unless you are short of time, in which case you can use this. It also went ahead and gave uh, an incentive that we'll be offering in case the user would want to participate. So that's very interesting. Let's move on to the next one. This is a bonus one from me uh, where you can write, so write a PRD for software company. So we use this question earlier for product question. Let's try to write a PRD on this. Okay. So again, it's a really cool, um, you know, platform that has learned everything it could from the internet before 2021, obviously. And it's using that knowledge to now, uh, you know, automate stuff, right? So in this case, you can see that it looked at the overview. 
it named the feature so i specified what the feature does it gave it the objective it's now putting together functional requirements let's see where it goes well obviously this is not the perfect prd in a real prd you would also have uh, the current flow the you know the proposed flow the impact the users impacted etc etc but this can give you a starting point it also gives you an implementation timeline may not be accurate but at least it gives you some direction on where to head right so some of the basic things that you then you know document like these can be automated using this that's it let's prepare our next question uh, next questions will be on roadmap while this is not a very frequent activity this is one of the things that a lot of product managers struggle especially when you're joining a large you know new company while it's always advised that you build roadmaps uh, by speaking to users and you know doing your own research with respect to market and the user interactions you can use chat gpt in order to at least generate some ideas about your product right so you are a vr product manager of a product game that you know allows you to play virtual ping pong so i wanted to give me a product roadmap that will be prioritized on impact effort and innovation so you can see that it's building a roadmap so it says that multiplayer mode <laughs> it's the most important uh, thing when it comes to a game improved game physics customizable characters so yeah i mean this this is something that even i had uh, like i wouldn't shy away from using these as requirements but the idea is that some of these things are generic and that's fine as if you if you're new to a product if you don't understand the industry or product so well right away you can use this as a starting point to at least generate some ideas but don't use this as your roadmap you can use this to, for ideas um let's next talk about qa and testing uh, act like you're a qa tester for software application you have to test the payment gateway of the software please document some test scenarios so the product managers don't necessarily write test scenarios but um they will be involved in test test case creation or mainly to validate certain test cases so it's important from that perspective that you account for all these scenarios especially when it comes to the feature that's being tested so i think this can prove out to be a starting point especially to do that what you can also do using chat gpt is in, you know generate user story and acceptance criteria so user story may be relevant from the perspective of creating a task or putting it in as a jira etc etc but yeah, acceptability criteria can be used as a testing parameter okay while it's generating that you can see it's pretty straightforward right so it says positive test scenario and then negative test scenario uh, then it also gives out the test um, steps for each of the scenarios that it's mentioning final one is going to be around um, interview preparation right so the idea is that i am a person who's preparing for interview with a specific company now i want to do a mock interview so i can use ai to at least um, you know create like a very very high level understanding on um, what the interviewer may ask in the interview process so let's try that after this is done so i think it's only incompleted uh, it's only half halfway there i think there will be more test scenarios but at least it gave me some starting point right then let's try this one okay i'll be the candidate you'll ask me interview questions so my first sentence is going to be hi effectively this role is uh, about product management now this be this begins the entire conversation right so can you tell me a bit about your background how you want how you became a product manager i i am from tech background with seven plus years experience in product management and i have been after co-founding a content creation platform so again i'm not deep going deep dive into this but you get the point right so this the ai is now acting like an interviewer and this is primarily because it remembers context from previous questions so if you you know go in this conversation keep going in this conversation at some point uh, if you if you you know ask the wrong question it's going to go back to one of the answers you gave before and you know question your approach in order to in order to understand why you went that direction 
but these are the uh, 11 questions or 12 questions that i think product managers should leverage uh, on chat gpt in order to improve their productivity and brainstorm ideas or generate ideas in general and that's probably going to be it for this video itself uh, if you're interested in learning about generative ais consider checking out my other video which you should you should be able to find description link in the description if you're interested in more content around product management generative ai and startups in general consider subscribing to the channel drop a like on this video um, share this across with a friend who would find this helpful and i'll see you in the next one thanks so much guys